organizing your photos. It's myorganize.life live April 29th, 2019. Monday. It's Monday and it's almost done on April. Yes, we're almost done. Can you believe not, that? Wait, tomorrow's the 30th. 30th, yeah. Yes, there's 30 days in April. Yes, we're not, we're not, <laughs> we're going, not doing we're, that. We're not doing, no. You, no, we're for not. For those of you who know the inside joke, we're not going we're there. Not going there. Okay, but welcome to MyOrganized.Life Live. I'm John Hunt. And I'm Leanne Thompson. This is the show where we give you organizing tips, advice, and uh, just look forward to a, a big month of May, which is not going to include too many uh, no, I know. programs. It's, um, we're going to be out of here. We're going to be actually, uh, we, we need your permission to uh, take a little break. Are because you, Are you going for it? You're going to say it? I think I might say it. For the, for the month of May, well, actually, Wednesday is May 1st. Yes. We'll do our final uh, podcast of, uh, of the month. Of the month. Okay. Well, actually, it'll be May 1st, so it'll May be 1st. the first okay. month. But then we're going to have a couple weeks off. In fact, we're going to probably have most of the month of May off because trips that we have and then we have we get overlapping we'll, trips overlapping trips uh, we're only going to have like a couple days of Where may you available and I are both yeah in the office together so stay tuned uh i think well what i, I am going to do if you're interested on our facebook page mm -hmm. is i'm going to post some pictures for my trip oh would you like cool. that yeah i'm going to israel which is kind of fun and mm -hmm. that's a very it's a very photogenic there because yeah. it's like all these things that very you just cool. see in a book, but you never see in li right. live. So, and I, I may sure. try to walk on water. Oh, wouldn't that be something? That would be something. <laughs> I'll probably fall <laughs> right in. Anyway, I'm looking forward to that trip. So All that's right. later this week. So, I think Wednesday will be our last live show, and then uh, sometime either the very end of May or uh, right June. right around June first, we'll pick it back up here. We'll be sending emails out and stuff like that. Yeah. And check our Facebook page because you know you're here not you're here part of the month. I'm here. And I so leave. you might post some fun little pictures, yeah, I might, right? I may, maybe I'll post to Instagram while I'm gone. Ooh, there you go. That would be good. I think people want to see the behind the scenes of they behind the see scenes. Our they want to see our personal lives. Yes. Not oh, just wow. our life. I have some in very interesting this. personal life pictures from this weekend, but I won't be sharing those. That's uh, from one of my daughter's fun things. Oh, the trial. The I trial. Saw that. I saw Wasn't that, that fun? Mm -hmm. Oh, she did a really good job, that's too. Cool. But that's a whole other thing. Okay, we are let's talking get on with this. photo organization. Speaking of photos, yeah, because you we know we didn't even try to do that. Did we? No, we didn't. Because <laughs> yeah, we're both going on trips and we're going to be taking lots of photos, some yep. videos, and things like that. But what do you do to organize them? And we've oh, actually had this is, a, we've, this is a big problem. It's a big deal, and we've had several podcasts on this. Mm -hmm. We have lots of articles over on Smead.com, but we are going to reference one podcast. It was actually a two-part podcast with Darla mm -hmm. DeMauro. Yep. Called guess what? Photo organization. Photo organization. And um, we're podcast number 185. Yeah, 185. We'll, we'll, uh, you just go to smee.com slash podcast and scroll down to number 185. But we're going to play a little clip from that one where she talks about kind of everyone gets a little overwhelmed, right? Definitely. From organizing definitely. their photos. So yep. let's listen to what Darla DeMauro has to say about that. And everybody says to me the same thing. I'm so overwhelmed. I don't know where to start. In reality, we all have two, maybe three, what we would call photo collections. We all have a digital photo collection because we're all taking um, pictures on our smartphones and our iPads and whatever other gadgets we have. Most of us, if you're over 20, you also have a paper-based photo collection. And those of us that are in our 40s and 50s, that's, that's what we've known most of our life. And then we have this potentially third category um, that, that slips in as well. And I always like to say, just because it's flat doesn't mean it's paper. And what I mean by that is that there are many pieces of memorabilia that really go along with what we consider our photo collection, that um, they look like paper, they're flat, but they're really memories. And so these can be things like kids' artwork, or um, I live in the Northeast, a lot of people go to uh, plays here or Broadway shows, and you'll get what's called a playbill, which mm. is the program for the show, and those become memories for people. Could be tickets to a concert that you've gone to, all these types of things that really go along with that photo collection. Yeah, you know, it's interesting too, uh, my daughter's a photographer, and you know, so she'll, she does weddings, and you know, she might take, you know, 1,000 or 1,500 photos and she's got to go through all of them and I you know I don't know what the the brides end up getting you know several hundred you but you know olden days it was like you had a, a camera that had 24 exposures on it and it might take months for you to go through that because you 
framed up every single one. You, would do, you wanted to make sure you didn't uh, take any bad ones, although we do have boxes and boxes of those blurred photos that for some reason we keep too. <laughs> but, um, so when you talk about photo organizing, do you kind of have to um, take and... Uh, take it in segments, I guess, you know, do you, you do the, you know, physical photos first and digital and a different project, or is there some way to tie them all together in one big project? Yeah, you've, you've hit the nail on the head. It's uh, overwhelm is, is so huge with this particular organizing project. And we, we really don't want people to get overwhelmed either because of the sheer size of the collection or because of the technology that, uh, that you really need to deal with a photo collection today. So, uh, so we do break it down. It depends on the client. It uh, depends on who I'm working with. Sometimes we'll start with the paper collection because they can physically see that and that's messy in their closet and that's what bothers them. And then other people have less, uh, less of that type of a collection that's smaller. They feel like that's manageable, but their digital collection is a mess and they have a hard time. Uh, you know, maybe they, they're taking too many pictures. Like you said, the digital technology is great because it made all of us better photographers because we could take 15 pictures at a clip and maybe one of them is going to be decent. Um, but uh, it also means that we have more mess and we have more to um, to organize. And that, is, that isn't even counting the pictures that we took of yesterday's lunch and the the license plate of the car that's parked next to us or the marker where we parked in the big, huge parking lot. I don't know if you do oh, that, Rick. <laughs> no, I, you know, it's interesting. I just uh, um, I, I just witnessed a car accident uh, yesterday, and I, I, I was kind of watching from the window of my office. I saw that, you know, the, I, mean, I saw the people hit each other. They get out. They talk to each other. And then, you know, I see, I show, I see them exchanging uh, license plates, but, you know, they did write it down. They just took a picture of it with their cell phones. You know, yeah. and again, I think we do that. I, th you know, think about, oh, what was that thing I wanted to buy in the store? I want to get exactly the same thing we have at home. And, you know, you take a picture of it. So, okay. Well, you know, right. I did, I did know that we have digital photos and we yes. have the regular photos, mm -hmm. but that third category the of memorabilia, the, the memorabilia, playbill. Yeah. I just went to a playbill. a play on Friday, got a playbill. Yep. Where'd you go? The high school in Kaiser Grove. What'd they do? The Little Shop of Horrors. Oh, oh my gosh, it was so good. Was I it had good? never, I've heard of the play. I didn't know what it was about oh, at wow, all. Oh, that sounds really good. Oh, it was excellent. Yes. Did you, now let me guess. Did you go with your mom and your grandma? Yes. Yes. You guys are like the theater troupe. We're the, the yeah, theater you, junkies. The theater junkies that go around. Oh, okay. It was so, oh, the acting, the singing was fabulous. Yes. I haven't been to a play that good in a while. Yes. So, Have you been good. to Fiddler on the Roof before? No. Uh, well, one of my daughters is going to do Fiddler on the Roof in the fall. Oh, okay. So well, you'll have to put that, that on. Then. This is like totally got nothing to do with know, photo organization. Geez, but except, I got the playbill. Yes. So and to, we're going to take lots purse. of photos of yes, all this exactly. stuff. So anyway, if you want any help with your photo organization, go to smead.com slash podcast. We have mm -hmm. a bunch of, uh, you could probably just go to smead.com and put photo organization. And it'll come up. You know, the podcast will come up. The articles, articles will come up. A couple lots other of podcasts too with, um, yeah. with Deb Cabral yeah. about photo. A lot, of, a lot of information out there. So check that out. Tomorrow we'll be back uh, and uh, we have, like I say, we'll be doing two more live shows this week. And yep. then after Wednesday, ta -ta. it'll be a, a little break. But Tune into the Facebook page for those live updates from yes. Israel. Maybe not live because it'll be probably like in the middle of the night yeah. here or whatever the time. Whatever I think it's like, I don't know, was it You're like probably nine? probably like 14 hours ahead or something. I have no idea. Hmm. All I know is the flight is really long. So yeah. anyway, we'll have the fun with that. Pay. And then, you know, we'll, we'll check back in with you uh, at the end of the month or beginning of June. So wherever that falls because there's Memorial Weekend and all that stuff. Lots going on. Yeah, that's right. Gosh. Yeah. Okay. It's interesting. Enough. So that's Enough it. We'll that. see you tomorrow, 2 p.m. Central, 3 Eastern, noon Pacific, myorganized.life, live. Get organized in color at myorganized.life. Live, we laugh, we love, and color. organized dot life.